Oh, how's it going today? How about a little learning? Learning is good. This resistor here, this is a uh, General Electric an F74 radio. Anyhow, this resistor here is a dog bone resistor. And this radio is from the 30s, so this has probably got a couple of them in there. Yeah, there's one over there too. Just kind of buried. There may even be another one or two in here. Yeah, there's a little baby one. Anyway, reading these, for the most part, is pretty easy. Uh, don't even bother measuring it with your own meter. You can if you want, but usually these things age fairly poorly. And uh, the value usually goes up as time goes on. So your best bet is to find a schematic. Now, if you can't find a schematic and can't figure out what's going on, you can read the value on these easy enough. Most of these obey what I call the bed rule. Um, bed is body, end, and dot. So the body is two. The end here is purple, so that's seven. And the dot is orange, so that's a K, that's three. So this is a 27K resistor, no big deal. This other one might be a little bit tough to do, but it looks like it's 47, and I don't see the dot right Well, there it is, 47, two zeros. The end is the silver, so that's the tolerance. So this is um, 4.7K. And I don't know, I don't have the schematic around. I don't know, if you, well, maybe I can find it easy enough. So, let's see here. Uh, this is one of those darn GEs that they, they show the value, they show the resistor and then the values on a table. So it's probably either R9, R10, or R11. 9 and 10 are probably pretty good candidates. So here's R10. I don't know if you can see this very well. We'll zoom in more. And yeah, right there is that first one we looked at, and there's R9, which is the second one. So yeah, we're on the right track. So there you go. So we'll just use the BID acronym, body, end, dot. You should be good as gold. Take it easy. Have a groovy day.